Center is for the Giants. And a defensive tackle, number 52, Michael Green. And another defensive tackle, Android number 61, Nate Deasy. And one of the defensive ends, Android number 23, Ronnie Swanson. And another defensive end, Android number 9, Daniel Boban. And one of the linebackers, Android number 25, Bobby Thomas. And another linebacker, number 32, Zach Skelton. And another defense uh, linebacker position at number 42, Alex Murphia. And another linebacker, number 44, Neil Sieber. Starting that safety, number 34, Nick Mackey. Starting at one of the cornerbacks, the line number 22, Cole Pop. And starting at the other cornerback, the line number 30, Keith Schmidt. And the rest of the Sabbies Giants, head coach of the Giants of this season, Graham. And now let's see your offensive starters, the Rebel Shooter, Golden Bear. Starting that cornerback, the line number 10, Stan. There you have your starting lineups, Brian Landborg, the Giants, and the Bears on def on paper. This should be a good one tonight from Moore Stadium. Nice to have you along on Public Access Channel 12. Now we'll have our national anthem. Okay, what a beautiful shot of the uh, flag over there. That's Harrison Street in Evelyn. Tonight it's high school football. I was watching Stephen Day in warm-ups. He was putting them uh, up into the yards there on Harrison Street. So if he gets to kick an extra point that way, you'll see what I mean. This kid can really kick. Tonight they're going to be introducing the, uh, or recognizing the 1973 state champion team, the Evelyn. Golden Bears, coached by Dick Lawrence. There's some guys that have made their way into town. They had a little bit of a get-together prior to, and then they're going to have a social afterward. We're coming at you uh, uh, live here on Public Access Channel 12. You can see the Bears gathered around their coaching staff. Uh, number 12 there is Mark Tickenen, and the Giants will be in their white with the black numerals. 
It should be a good one. The Giants come in with three wins on the season. Both have victories over Cook County by about the same margin. Uh, Masab East is going to be doing the kicking off, and uh, we'll be about ready to go here. Beautiful night here up on top of the hill in Eveleth, the hilltop city. So we'll see what uh, who's doing the kicking off. Okay, Zach Skelton, we're gonna, you're going to hear his, his name a lot tonight as uh, he is a big bruising running back. We're underway here, high school football on Public Access Channel 12. Taking it to 23, out to the 30, out to the 40-yard line. And Huyanen in on the tackle, or on the carry, in on the tackle, Nate Giese down there for the uh, Giants. We had the offensive unit for you. We'll touch it again. Roberts at quarterback, Mark Ticken in at tight end, Will Olson, Austin Huyan in the running backs. In the line, Brian Sandstrom, Jake Muich, Joey Marolt, Dustin, Dustin Olson, and Emilio Stero. The wideout, wideouts, Charlie Ryan and Austin Erickson. As we say that, Erickson's over in the slot. Huyanen and Olsen in behind Roberts under center. They're going to give it to Austin Huyanen. He's going to get out to about the 49-yard line. Skelton in on the tackle. And we'll pick up another number also right away. Giese. Giese's been in on a couple. So you'll hear Huyanen's name, Olsen's name, Tickenen's name, Erickson's the offensive players. But you know, it all starts in the line. Sam Roberts, the junior quarterback, will check back into the game here. No score early in this one here at Moore Stadium. Got Huyen in at fullback, Olsen the tailback. We got uh, Austin Erickson on the wing. Second down and uh, we'll call it three. The give off, here's uh, Huyen in again. Austin Huyen in gonna rumble out to about the 43 yard line. Uh, nice run by the uh, senior now running back. Huyen in went over the right side. So they're gonna move the chains here. First down, they move the chains. Nice shot into that huddle. John Mariucci on the camera tonight. Bears got new uniforms. Uh, I'm anxious to see our new ones in basketball, too. They're still in the box. I got to go. It's going to be like Christmas when I crack those open. Bears have been under center right now, first and 10. They're in Masabi East territory at the 44-yard line. And a big hole. Here's Huyen and Huyen at 35-30, 25-20. Hey, he's tripped up at the last minute by uh, Nick Mackey. We'll look at a replay here. Huyen in big hole. Big hole, here he comes, played off that block nicely to the 30, and Mackey had to come over, and yeah, he just got him by the ankle, lost him down to the 15-yard line. Bears are in business, first and 10 from the Masabi East 15. Then Huyanen left, Huyanen right, Huyanen back to the left, so we'll see what they do this time. Split backs now, Roberts under center. Before the night's over, you see a lot of wide open. Here's. Uh, give off to Will Olson, nothing there for that senior running back. And on the tackle for uh, Masabi East, I've got to Bobby Will Thomas Olson and maybe Robbie Swanson. So short gain. No gain on the play, will bring up second. You can hear man. Mr. Landborg in the background saying no gain on the play, so there the ball rests. On the 15. Austin Erickson and Tickenen on the right side. Erickson is a wing back. We've got Ryan over here on the left, 85. They'll look the other way. Here's Olsen gonna cut it back. Boy, he just almost made the back to the line of scrimmage. Big Zach, uh, Zach Skelton in on the tackle. They like Skelton at 6'2", 195. Before the night's over, I'll probably call him uh, John Skelton. His dad was a great player for the Orr Braves and went on and played out at Montana State. So if John Skelton scores a touchdown tonight, we're turning it into the Minnesota High School League because he's all out of eligibility. His kid, Zach, is playing. You see Ryan over to the right. Now the Bears in the shotgun. Third down, third and 10. Robert sprints. Oh, he avoids the pressure. Gets down to the 20. Oh, he can't get back to the line of scrimmage. Thrown down by Daniel Bobentz, number nine. And uh, that's going to set up, I think, uh, for a loss on a actually a, a loss back to about the uh, five-yard line. And we're going to get to see Stephen Day, Day in to do the kicking. Stephen Day is six foot, 170-pound senior. He's made some news. He kicked a 46-yard field goal over at uh, Deer River that the guys over there said could have made it from 56. So. If he can get it off, a lot can go wrong. Oh, and it's blocked. Boy, and there it is on the 30. Covering it up will be 
Uh, Bobby Thomas will try to check who got it. Pressure came from up the middle. Here it comes. No, yeah, right up the middle. Was that Skelton? We'll see as he gets up. He's got his hands in the air. 32, Zach Skelton with the block and the cover. So that's a big defensive play here for the Giants right off the bat. So Colin Luke will bring him up. They run out of the wishbone. They got Skelton at the fullback position, Siebert at the other. They're gonna give it off to, is that Siebert right away? He's gonna fight his way for short yardage. The other running back was Alex Marfi Marfiat. Uh, if you've been following any of the statistics, uh, Skelton and the Siebert's had some big games. Looks like they're gonna rotate plays in. Bobby Thomas with Marfiat. Try to set that bare defensive line for you. It's going to be a second down, and we're going to call it six here early in the first quarter. Fake to Skelton to give off. Here's Siebert. Oh, nice defensive play by Austin Erickson. We're going to have a, a flag in on the play. Erickson read that from the secondary and closed fast. You can see Mr. Mr. Jim Johnson in the uh, white hat tonight. And he calls a hold against the Masabi East Giants. So... Uh, Nice camera work tonight here. Again at halftime, they'll recognize some of the guys from that 1973 so championship team. To go. Kind of a cool night. We've already had to replace one little battery in one of the uh, microphones we have. Funny, in 2013, batteries still go dead. So uh, we'll see. We'll hope we get through the night. A little bit different formation. Here's a quick pop pass out. Catching it is Siebert. Siebert's gonna fight his way to the 31 yard line. Over on the tackle for the Bears, Cooper Dojan. Dojan, one of the players to tackle him. Cooper is number 14. They list him at six foot, uh, 210 pound freshman. Third down and nine, we'll see if the Bears can stop him here. Looking into their huddle there, got some defensive players. There's Luke Rosinka, number 32. Joey Marolt in there. For the Bears, this is our first look at the Bears on Public Access Channel 12 this year. Pat Pop pass, and it's complete, but short of a first down. Threw it out to Bobby Thomas. Nice, a uh, little bit of a slant. They call it a pop pass, slanted Thomas. Uh, so now the Bears are gonna receive the ball again. Olsen into the line, replacing uh, Jake Muich. Over on the chain gang, you can see Dave Pike. I thought he had a cowboy hat on, but that's Tom Prasen who used to always wear the cowboy hat. We'll check the punter back there. Who is that? Ronnie Swanson, number 23. We got Huyanen and Olsen deep for the Bears. Early first quarter. And uh, good punt. Oh, over Huyanen, over Olsen. Boy, it takes a giant roll, and it's going to roll dead at the oh, four-yard line. Down at the four yard line, so that's what the doctor ordered for the Sabi East Giants. So that's where the Bears will start first and 10, their second possession. They had a nice drive on the first possession, had a field goal blocked. So, see the Bears uh, coming on out. There's Brian Sandstrom, 53. We'll get you some other. You got Sandstrom playing center tonight. Jake Muich at a. Uh, Offensive guard, Joey Marolt at an offensive tackle. Emilio Sterl at an offensive tackle. Uh, let's try to help you out. These are the guys that don't get uh, named all. Dustin Olson, number 66 there, you can see him. So he's playing left guard, so we got the lineman in there. Looks like the Giants, what are they gonna have, a three-man front here? Uh, Jim Johnson says, let's put her in play, guys, and Roberts under center, everything in tight. So Bears try to squeak their way out of this uh, and he's going to do just that with a little with a quarterback sneak. Sam Roberts gets up ahead. Giese in on the tackle. Also coming up, Alex Marfiad in the middle of that line. Michael Green, 6'5", 295. There's a good shot of Sam Roberts. He's going to get the play. Mark Tickenen saves him a few steps as Tickenen got the play from Wayne Roberts. And Mark's such a quiet guy. I often wonder how that huddle, because all those guys I know are just quiet. I... Uh, but they get the play called, and here they come, ticking in tight to the right. 
Olsen and Huyen in behind Roberts. You got Erickson and Ryan over here to the left. They're gonna give it off. This is Huyen and Huyen and takes about three hits and then he's covered. Boy, he draws some draws some uh, attention. Zach Skelton in on the tackle. Marfiat there, also in there. Uh, Neil Siebert. Gonna be a third down, third down and long. The Bears are gonna have to see what they can do. Huyen in there, number 26. The Bears got new uniforms this year, so we have no score in our first quarter. We're into the second half of the first quarter here. Ryan breaks out to the left. Bears are in tight. They got ticking and tight on the right. Erickson, Austin over there on the wing back. And they're going to pitch it back. Here's Olsen. Olsen. Oh, the ball's loose on the ground. Who's going to get it? Oh, there's a lot of white there. And Masabi East is signaling they have it. And we'll wait for the official to say, boy. And he says they do have the ball. Cole Coppin on the recovery, number 22. You can see it start off. It's just a pitch back to Will Olsen. And as he's going down, the ball pops. Seabird might have made the first contact, then it's just a jailbreak. Everybody looking for the ball. Giants in good shape now. They're on the six yard line, first and goal. We have uh, about 4.45 to go in the first quarter here. They've kept it on the ground. They're gonna try the right side. Ooh, nice hit. That was Seabird, who stuck him? Will Olson, number 22. Will's not the biggest guy. Luke Rosinka in there too. But uh, they tried the right side. We got the officials stopping the clock. We well, can hear the crowd. We got a nice crowd here tonight for Edleth Gilbert and Masabi East. And uh, the only knows they're stopping the clock. It looks like Mr. Dave Trollin, Jim Johnson. Now the white hat, Mr. Jim Johnson said, let's go. Siebert brings him out. They're in the bone. On the six, or on the 10, it's pitched, but no, giving off. Here's Skelton in. Oh, Zach Sk Skelton powers his way in. He's the fullback in that wishbone. Nine yard run, here's the replay. Boy, just tight handoff. Six, two, 195, hey, just, he carried people. They got their hands around his legs there at about the three, but Skelton says, uh, I got me the ball, I'm in the end zone. Six nothing, Wasabi East. 4.27 to go in our first, uh, our first quarter. The Giants convert on a turnover. Took them two plays from the 10 yard line. And Colin Luke looks right, looks right. We got a flag, looks, look, throws it in and it's good, but we gotta check out the penalty flag. Ronnie Swanson makes the reception, but a flag came in early and they're signaling, I think, holding. Well, we'll watch the play anyway. We'll get to replay the flag coming flying in. Luke fakes to Skelton. Here comes the flag. But Luke rolled out, put it in there. Boy, nice catch, nice pitch and catch by Swanson. But they're gonna step it off and the Giants will have to do it again to convert this uh, point after. 4.27 remaining in our first quarter. Wasabi East six. Edlitz Gilbert, nothing. Little different look, offset eye. Luke back, uh, throws it up for the corner. Oh, going for Siebert. Charlie Ryan back on the coverage, incomplete pass. Point after, no good. 427 remaining in the first quarter. Wasabi six, Edlitz Gilbert, nothing. Well, here we go, you'll see it. It's one of those just throw it up and let your guy go after it. Siebert, a basketball player, he's waving for the ball. Ryan right with him. Oh, but it was in Siebert's hands. Ryan, uh, Siebert not able to hang on to it. You can see the uh, Bears around their coaching staff, six nothing. The Giants convert on that uh, turnover. Oh, a beautiful night for football here. You can see the Channel 12 van over there along the third baseline and the home dugout over there. I don't know, somebody's over there drinking coffee. I don't know who's signing time cards tonight, but Hugo's gonna have to dock them. I see a coffee pot on. Hugo's got that thing where he could sleep in it during deer season, so. But there's some dome lights on. Either somebody's 
Somebody's playing hooky on our crew or uh, Hugo's going to have a dead battery when he goes back over there tonight when the game is over. Nice big one-ton van. Zach Skelton will be doing the kicking off. We'll see if the Bears can answer. It's 6-0. And it's put down there. They don't want to give it to the long one. Here comes a Huyen and Oh, and he just tripped up. Just tripped up by Cole Kopp. Cole Kopp is a 5'8", 140-pound junior cornerback on the special team. So we'll see the Bears now. Their second possession. We're going to have under four minutes to go on the snap of the ball. Well, they're going to reset it here. Roberts into the game with the play. This is a 40th anniversary of that 1973 Ebbeth football team that won it. We got wideouts both ways. Slot. Now Huyen in, no, in motion. So Roberts up on the option. Here's Will Olson. Olson cuts it back, makes it out to about the 41. We've got some flags. Mackey, one of the players on the tackle. Also on the tackle, uh, Bobby Thomas. And we're going to get a hold against the Bears. So we'll see what happens here. So they'll step it off. Boy, boy, I can hear the camera. I can hear the microphones are all working. Shotgun formation. Bears got twins on both sides. Roberts throws it out. It's off the hands of the intended receiver. Was that Austin Erickson? Number 88. So the incomplete pass will stop the clock with uh, oh, four minutes and uh, 20, no, 4.07 to go in our first quarter. Saab East leading here six to nothing. Ryan wide to the right. Ticking it'll be tight on this left side. Slot back will be uh, Huyanen. Olsen is back to the left. Roberts in the shotgun. Second down, now the option. Here's Olsen. Olsen taken down at the 35 yard line. He's taken down and on attack. We've called Alex Marfiot's name a few times tonight. So gonna be a third down. And you'll hear the whistle, they put it in play and six nothing first quarter. QRT, QTR. <laughs> we got Huyen and Olsen split behind uh, Roberts, third down, drop back. Now we got a screen. Here's Will Olsen at the 35. Olsen to the 40, boy, and a good tackle there. Coming in on the tackle was Cole Kopp. So that'll set up the Bears punting now. They're gonna have a fourth and about eight to go. So the Giants have held. In case you're just joining us, the Bears' pos first possession tonight, they drove her down, had a field goal block. Then the Giants got off just a dandy punt that put it down inside the five. The Bears fumbled, and uh, the uh, Giants capitalized on a nine-yard Zach Skelton run. Day's punt, nice high one. Going to hit at the 30, take a Golden Bear roll. And they'll down it, and that's where Masabi East will start. Six nothing on the 13. Six nothing with Masabi East here at Moore Stadium, top of the hill in Eveleth. One reminds you that uh, you're viewing Public Access Channel 12. Had some good feedback on the events this year. We've had tennis, we've had cross country, we've had volleyball. Lots happening here. Out come the Giants. They lead six to nothing. First quarter. Give off to Skelton. Skelton rumbles. Skelton still going. He's out near the 30-yard line. 
Oh, he had guys on him. Here he comes. Thomas Kosklov went along for a ride. I know the first guys to hit him, but look at this. <laughs> Man, he's out to about the 30, almost 30 yard line. So first and 10 Giants. Wishbone formation. Giants lead six zip. They're gonna give it off. Here's Siebert, spins his way. And on the tackle there for Eveleth Gilbert, Will Olson. Siebert on the carry, he brings it out to about the 35 yard line. Gonna bring up second down and five. So they got five yards on first down. I think that's always good into the game with the play at Marfiat. I took a football class from Jim Woloski one time. He said if you get six the first down, half of that the second, half of that third, then do the math, you got a first down. Some would say that's conservative. Oh, big one, Skelton had a big hole. Here he goes, Skelton to the midfield. Skelton to the 45, 44 yard line before he's taken down. Boy, in on the tackle for the Bears, trying to pick it up. Watch this, so on the replay, Skelton just rumbles. Good cut back there, got around Olsen, and finally he's taken down. Trying to get the number on the Golden Bear player, Adam Kugel, number 40. Giants are back down in Eveleth Gilbert territory. First quarter is winding down. They're going to fake it to Skelton and give it off and try the left side. I don't know if he made it back to the line of scrimmage. Charlie Ryan, one of the players, in on the tackle. So the Bears able to stop that one. It's 6 0 Masabi East. End of the game with uh, Marfiat. Tells Luke to play. And out come the Giants. They got a good sized line. We'll set some of those guys too. They always get the guys with the ball, but it starts with the line. And a pitch back. Here they go. Siebert down to about the 43 yard line. Will Olson in on the tackle along with Adam Kugel. That Masabi East offensive line, they got Giese, Nate Giese, Michael Green. Let's see, the other guys. Uh, Ronnie Swanson at tight end. Bob Thomas is a running back. Bobence at tight end. Trying to get some. Nick Mackey plays at tight end. And the first quarter's done at the end of the first quarter. Masabi East, six. Eveleth Gilbert, nothing. We'll come back with second quarter action after this. <laughs> Well, we're back here. Nice to have you along. I'm Mike Garrow. There you can see the staff. You can see Ed Berdice there. You can see uh, Wayne Roberts, Dan Berry, Derek Melner. So the Bears on defense right now, trying to hold the Giants. Now the Giants will be heading from our right to left. They have it uh, third down and eight from the 44 yard line of the Bears. 6-0, the Giants scored on a, a nine-yard touchdown by Zach Skelton. Here's a pitch back, here's Siebert. Siebert cuts it back up, and he's into Eveleth Gilbert territory. In on the tackle, Charlie Ryan, also there for the Bears, Adam Kugel. Here's Neil Siebert, number 44. He's had some big nights for the Giants this fall. Beautiful night here in Eveleth at Moore Stadium. You're viewing this on Public Access Channel 12. Out to come. Skelton the fullback, Siebert left half. Try to check, is it Swanson? They'll give it off to Siebert. Siebert fights his way to about the 33 yard line. In on the tackle, Kugel once again. And uh, Dustin Olson 
That's a giant first down. And the Giants will move the chains on that first down. Quickly back into the huddle, quickly out of the huddle. First and 10, the Bears are trailing this Giants here. Six, nothing. See the balls is inside the 35. And they'll just try to move it on down. Looks like Kugel again, one of the Bear tacklers. Olsen in on there. Skelton muscling his way. Zach Skelton is uh, a junior, 6'2", 195. So he's got another year. He might grow a little bit yet. He's wearing number 32, number 25 there in the backfield. Bobby Thomas, Neil Siebert, 44. They're behind Colin Luke and that big line. Going to give it off to Skelton. He's going to fight his way almost to the 25-yard line. And on the tackle, I got Dustin Olson again. So they've got a third and short here. It's six nothing, Masabi East. Bears got down here their first possession at a field goal block. Then they uh, turned the ball over to the Giants deep in their own end following a nice long punt. And Skelton scored on a touch, a nine yard run. Here's Siebert, Siebert's gonna fight his way down near the 20 yard line. Olsen hanging on, Kugel no, hanging on, Austin Erickson, one of the players getting up. They're gonna move the chains, gonna be first and 10, Masabi East from about the 20. Bears are on their heels a little bit here. Giants just pounding it. Fast moving quarter, first quarter and a half. We're about a halfway through the second quarter right now. Giants scored with 4.27 to go in the first quarter. Here they come, first and 10. There he is, 32. What are you gonna do? <laughs> and there about four guys hung, hanging on to him. We'll name three. a couple of them. They have to gank Thomas Koskala, number 34, in on the tackle. Koskala, 5'8", 160 pound sophomore. He went along for a ride earlier on in this game. <laughs> Skelton was carrying him about six, seven yards. But Skelton's done that to a lot of guys this year. 32, yep back. Now they do that offset eye with a couple, with a guy out wide. They're gonna give it off to Siebert. He falls ahead to about the 15 yard line. Uh, looks like Emilio Stero, one of the people. Yeah, that line again, it's uh, Bobentz. Bobentz, uh, Swanson. Uh, let's see, Michael Green, he's the big guy, Geezy. So they've had some big ones. They're running behind Steve Ramford, John Peterson. Here goes Siebert hanging on to him though is, uh, is Kugel. Kugel, Adam Kugel. We've called Kugel's name a lot. Kugel is a 6'1", 175-pound senior. Giants leading here six to nothing in the second quarter, looking for more. Bears would like to hold them out here. Ball inside the 15-yard line. We're coming to you live this evening. Across the range from White Lakes to uh, Chisholm. We got a timeout on the field. Timeout. Six nothing, Masab East. Five minutes to go in our second quarter. There you can see the staff, Steve Graham's one of the coaches. You know, my list flew out the window of uh, his assistants, but. As I tried to get my uh, list of assistants, I had it on my original list, made an extra copy. The original flew out the booth here. And uh, fourth down, Bears are gonna try to stop him. Luke down, oh, he gets popped. Who had the hit? Was that Kugel again? I don't think he made it. On that fourth down, we'll see. Boy, you're gonna see a hit at the end of this one. Bears held, look at here's Luke, pumps it, he pulls it down. Here comes 40, kaboom. <laughs> Kugel went down too, but he knocked uh, Luke back, Colin Luke, so it's first and 10 Bears. Now, they need to see what they can get going as we're into the second half of the second quarter. 
Six nothing Giants. They scored with 427 to go in the first quarter. Roberts under center. Wing back on this near side is Erickson, Huyanen, and Olsen. Here's the give to the up back. Huyanen fights his way to about the 13 yard line. Bo Benson on the tackle. You can see number nine and Michael Austin Green also Huyanen there. The Austin Huyanen, number 26. Try to name some of these guys. Will Olsen, number 22 for our Eveleth Fail fans. Eveleth Fail. Ticking it in tight here on the near side, number 12, Austin Erickson. Now there's split backs behind. Roberts under center, fakes, looks, looks. Oh, here's Ticking it. Ticking into the 29 yard line. On the coverage, Cole Cop, but nice play, you'll see it. Well drawn up, everything's coming this way. They kept Bobentz off him. Tickenen comes down. He runs a little shorter route. It's been cleared out by Ryan, I think. Tickenen grabs it. And if Cop doesn't make a tackle, he'll have another five, five yards. So Bears should move the chains in its first and 10. Now we got two to the white, right, two to the left. Olsen the back in the backfield with Roberts out of the shotgun. First and 10, here's Tickenen again. Tickenen another first down. Tickenen to the 46 yard line. Out of a different formation, a straight look, you'll see Ticken and he just runs a little curl right here, catches it at the 39, stiff arms up the player and he gets another six yards. I think he might have stiff armed Bobentz on that, but there he is, Mark Ticken in number 12. So the Bears move the sticks a couple times here. They trail six to nothing. We're sitting with about five minutes to go in the first half. Now we got trips to the left. And here's Roberts on a keeper. Oh, and he goes down. Green will cover him, but I think uh, who got the trip? I think uh, might have been John Peterson. Roberts gets up a little slow. No gain on the play. The ball on the 45. Charlie Ryan into the game with the play. Second down, 10 yards to go. Uh, Bears trying to have it. answer that first Giants touchdown. It was scored back in the first quarter. We got Charlie Ryan wide left. Austin Erickson heading that way too. Huyen and Olsen split in behind Roberts. Give off, here's Huyenen. Huyenen cuts it up, gets about the 48 yard line of Masabi East. Uh, and on the tackle we had uh, Nick Mackey, Neil Siebert. Huyenen a little bit slow getting up, Austin. And he's still having a little trouble, six nothing. He won't probably come out of the game. Well, now the officials are gonna motion. Now the Bears call a timeout, six nothing Masabi East. Latter stages of the second quarter. Tonight they're recognizing the 1973 Evola State Championship. And uh, as you can hear Brian uh, Landberg in the background, uh, week from Thursday, the cross country team will be running their sectional down in Cloquet. I also want to mention uh, Caitlin Rice and Lexi Bresculi are going to go to the state as a doubles team. So that's going to happen uh, Wednesday. So good luck to the girls. Here's Roberts, quick pass out here to Tickenen again. Tickenen's got three receptions. They were quick to get to him that time. Cole Kopp, I've called his name a lot. Good shot, Emilio Sterl, number 78. Let's set some other guys in that line. Brian Sands from 53. 66 is Dustin Olson, Joey Marold, 64. I like to name all those guys because we always talk about the guys with the ball. Charlie Ryan out to the left, wing back near side. Here's Eric's and here's Roberts trying to sneak it and he should have it. So the Bears will keep the chains going as we have four minutes to go in our first quarter, or first half that is. Giants are kind of pointing it the other way. Well, we'll see the mark, easy for me to say. Uh, it is a first down, they won't measure. So the Bears will move the chains. They have the ball inside the 45 yard line of Masabi. He's trailing here in the second quarter, 
Six to nothing. Sam Roberts into the game with the play. Julian and Erickson and Tickenen all wide to the left. Charlie Ryan to the right side. Olsen alone back with Roberts out of the shotgun. Roberts on a keeper to the 40, to the 35, 30, 25, 20, oh, down to the 13 yard line. Finally knocked down by Mackey. Well, we'll set him in cup. Here he comes. Look at that, nice block out there by Ryan. And then old Sam, he just kept going. He laid one out. He laid a, a hit on 34 there, uh, Nick Mackey at the end of that one. First and 10. Erickson, Huyanen, and who is that other one? Tickenen out to the left. First and uh, 10 from the 14 yard line. Roberts looks, throws it. Oh, now we got a flag. Pass is intended for Charlie Ryan. He was on the slant. I think they're gonna nab the Giants uh, linebacker back there trying to cover. Thomas, I think it was. So Mr. Lampa, I think that's Josh, points out. Anyway, they try to slant, everything's to the left. So they tried to pop it here to the left or right side and well, I tell you, if he don't hang on to him, I think Charlie could have had a touchdown on that one, so. Bears looking to answer. They're behind here, six to nothing in the first half. We have uh, three minutes and 23 seconds to go in the first half. Six nothing Giants. It'll be first down and start through the over there. Attack it on, it's first and uh, a yard from a six yard line. Quick pop out, oh they get it to Olsen and he's taken down by Siebert. Down about the three yard line. A good shot of William, number 22. Little bubble pass they threw out to Will and uh, Siebert out there to that was his responsibility, his coverage. Sam Roberts into the game, second down. Or check that. That puts it, uh, help me out, first, no, second and. Second and goal. Now Roberts will sneak it ahead. Down to about the six yard line, and we'll see where the his knee is down. And they'll get a first down out of it, so the Bears have it. Crowd's getting fired up. You can tell they're going to try to, uh, well, they're trying to even this score or even take the lead this time down. Jim Johnson says starter up, ticking and brings it in to Roberts. Roberts into the huddle. And out come the Bears. Pullian in behind uh, Roberts. Olsen to his left. Give off to Huyanen over the left side. Huyanen down near the goal line and for a touchdown. Austin Huyanen with a six yard touchdown run has tied this up. Here's the replay. I don't know if Olsen let him into the hole. Yeah, there's William. Huyanen follows him right in and they didn't hit him until he was in the goal line and in the end zone touchdown. We're tied at six. That comes with 3.04 to go in the first half. And Stephen Day, here's the one I was telling you before the game, he was putting them up over that fence into the, the yards there on Harrison. Here's the snap, here's the kick, and there she goes out of the stadium, and kick is good. 3.04 to go in the first half. Eveleth Gilbert, seven, Masabi, six. Everything worked. Good snap, Roberts puts it down and there the leg of Stephen Day and that's good, the officials go, there she is, the one on the, officials on the right yelling, have a kid grab that ball. They could go broke if they kicked a bunch of them and the fans got to keep them on that north edge of the stadium. There's the score, 7-6 Giants. We'll come back with a Golden Bears kickoff after this.
Well, Stephen Day back to the job. Hugo's got a little pot of coffee over there in his uh, the, the production van. So if you hear me sipping on the coffee, he's got it made, man. He's got this handy-dandy little coffee pot there that he makes. And uh, we have some help that doesn't get paid a lot, but they, they run over for us. If you, see, if you see those little guys shooting over. We pay him about the same as we do to chase fall balls here at Moore Stadium when the baseball's on. Here's Day's kick. Taking it. Oh, fumbled at the five. And the Bears, oh, pretty good. Well, I was going to say pretty good coverage, but Bobby Thomas fights his way out. So the Bears lead seven to six. We have 2.58 to go in our first half. So, okay, they're going to tag the Giants with a penalty. Illegal block, you can hear Brian Landborg mentioning that. Boy, the Bears got nice new uniforms. Yeah. Funny how, of course, we've been following the Edwith Gilbert football here a few years. It's To me, it's really noticeable. Nice to have them on television here to see them. See, but under center, Giants trailing 7-6. They want to get too fancy down here. Oh, who are we going to get? Is that uh, Rosinka in on the tackle or Thomas Koskala? I caught the three. That's Koskala, number 34. I think he had the first hit. Clock is winding down here in the uh, first half. Giants probably going to be content just to uh, keep it on the ground, keep it running. Well, Benz will light up tight on the left here. Is that uh, Thomas tight on the right? They're going to pitch it. Here's... Uh, Here's a nice run coming out. Oh, Siebert. Siebert all the way out. Austin Erickson drug him down, but not till he got out to the 46 yard line. He hasn't, here it is, it's a quick pitch. Boy, they double teamed that guy at the corner for the Bears and missed tackle there. Leonel Sturrow tries. Austin Erickson uh, on the Bears, he's one of the faster guys on a flat out run. And he makes a tackle. First and 10, well leave it to me to say the Giants may just try to get in the locker room. Here we go. Here's Siebert, or breaks another tackle. Check that, that's not Siebert, that's uh, Marfiat. Koskala again on the tackle. Dojan, one of the players for the Bears. We've called this freshman's name a few times. Beautiful night here in Evelyn. Regular season ending. I think the winner of this game is going to have a home football match. If you lose, you might have to go on the road. Although they're in a different uh, class. Here comes Siebert. Oh, nice play by Sam Roberts. Number 10 met him at the pass. Saw a penalty marker come out. Got to say hi to Kevin Klander over in West Eveleth and his mother, Lola. She's uh, usually one of our listeners. We're coming at you live tonight from White Lakes to Chisholm. One of our hookups that manager Hugo Mariucci has seen come to fruition in his time got some live things we don't do it cut into the gate we just put her on now if you didn't and I, we've had i've had people say well i watched till half then i came on over not knowing so we'll see we like to promote the high school kids here's a well i'm looking at skelton back the other way oh nice stick nice tackle who met him at the pass well there's uh Brandon Wellman from the secondary and he, he tackled uh, Bobby Thomas 
Clock running down here. I don't think the Bears, well, the Giants would ideally like points or just run out the half. Offset eye, here's Colin Luke. Straight drop back, Luke fires it over the middle. It's complete. Complete pass. There's a stoppage. On the reception was a tight end, Ronnie Swanson. And now the Bears call a timeout. They'd like to maybe get this thing back. As uh, you can see, uh, they're around the coaches. And as John uh, Mariucci moves in, talking things over. Some defensive, uh, some So they come out, Bears wanted to talk it over. They held, so they are gonna get the ball back, this fourth and uh, seven. Wanna get some time to do something with it. It's gonna hit at the 20, take a Masabi East bounce and go out of bounds at the 15 yard line. So the Bears are gonna try to do something late. Seven, six. Eveleth Gilbert with the lead. First half winding down. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, at halftime will be meeting members of the 19th. You can hear Coach or Coach, well, baseball Eveleth coach Brian Landberg, public address announcer for football, talking about the uh, recognition that the 73 players that have made their way into town in 1973. And we'll hold it right here for that for you. Trips left. First and 10. Roberts on a keeper. Giants have seen that. Zach Coppin on the tackle again. Big Mike Green in on the tackle. Michael Green, 6'5", 295. Bears have run that one a few times. Spread people out and then let the quarterback take it. And that's how the first half is going to end. At the end of the first half, Masabi seven. Oh, Evelyn Gilbert seven, Masabi six. We'll have the halftime recognitions and third quarter football after this. Well, you can hear the school song. 7-6 Bears. Zach Skelton on a touchdown from Masabi East. Austin Huyan in on a touchdown for the Bears. Stephen Day's point after made it 7-6, and that's where the first half ends. Gi uh, Bears leading, Golden Bears leading the Giants 7-6. And now we'll be going to a uh, public address announcer, Mr. Brian Landborg, for our recognition tonight of the 1973 Evelyn State the Champions. The reunion of the 1973 State Champion Evelyn Goldenberg football team. Coach Lawrence's double ring offense is extremely deceptive, difficult to defend, and entertaining to watch. And his players executed it well. As Coach Lawrence said, Really, I can't say enough about these kids. They have been dedicated to our goals all season long. And when you go through a season with a record of 12-0, you'd have to say there weren't any down moments at all. The highlight of the season was the second half down at Midway Stadium. For any of you that were there, it was probably the most exciting high school football game of all time. When the Golden Bears were struggling at the halftime and the or whatever Coach Lawrence and Coach Kachiever said to the players at halftime, they came out and took it to Wilmer and became the 1973 state champion.
Thurston, the coaching staff from that team. Legendary coach Dick Lawrence has passed away, and he is represented by his wife Diane, his son Tom, and Tom's daughter Abby. Assistant coach, Pablo Petiver. And assistant coach, Phil McKenzie. Unable to attend tonight with assistant coach, Larry Casper. The team doctor was R.M. Doc Martinson. And now let's meet some of the players from that team. Number 17, Bob Pizzelli. <laughs> Number 54, Cody Pizzelli. <laughs> Number 67, Greg Somi. <laughs> Number 70, Barney Popa. <laughs> Number 53, Mike Rosenka. <laughs> Number 14, Jeff Prusak. <laughs> Number 76, John Rousey. Number 80, Mark Kirion. <laughs> Number 63, Louis Turner. <laughs> At this time, ladies and gentlemen, we'd like to take time to remember team members that have passed. Coaches, Dick Lawrence, Dick McDonald, Kurt Johnson and player Mark Hansen. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, your 1973 state champion, Golden Bear! <laughs> Well, that was a nice uh, recognition of the some of the players from that 1973 team. So uh, they're having a social tonight after the game. And now we're back here, ready for the third quarter. 7-6, Eveleth Gilbert with the lead over Masabi East. Well, they got a lot of festivities tonight. To last, tonight is the last home game. If the Bears could win, I don't know. I was told they might be able to host a home round. So we'll see. Same with Masabi East. I think if they win, they could be at home. I think if they win, it could be Hinkley Finlayson that they'll be playing. But we'll see. That name was kind of brought up as I talked with people around the uh, press box prior to the game. Well, the Bears are getting ready. They lead 7-6. to six. Again, with 4.27 to go in the first quarter. Zach Skelton scored on a nine-yard run. The pass failed. And with 3.04 to go in the second quarter, Austin Huyanen on a six-yard run. Uh, Stephen Day's kick made it 7-6. Seven, six. So, they're going to have Siebert, Neil Siebert back with... Uh, Bobby Thomas, so here we go. Bears up 7-6. Gonna get out to the fight out to the 
five, uh, 26 yard line. Down on the tackle, looks like Austin Erickson, number 88 for the Bears, and that's where the Giants will start. Nice to have you along on Public Access Channel 12. Hugo Mariucci, the manager. For those of you viewing across the range tonight live, you know, Hugo manages it there. You can get a hold of him at Channel 12 uh, at ISD2154.k12.mn.us. And there's a lot happening here at uh, the studios. So Colin Luke under center. He's going to give it off to Zach Skelton. He's going to fight his way out to the 35-yard uh, line. Charlie Ryan and Austin Erickson in on the tackle. Going to be a second down and two. Nice first down play. Again, the Giants have kept most of it on the ground tonight. They run out of, they've been running out of the wishbone. Uh, so here they come, second and short. That's what they like to set up. So we will see now as uh, Siebert has them out in the wishbone again. Here's a pitch back. They're going to try the right side, but the Bears blew it up that time. That's Siebert, but who was it? Was it Koskala and Brandon Wellman maybe again? We've called Wellman's name a few times. Thomas Koskala has made a few tackles here this evening also. You hear the crowd getting into it, into the play, into the game with the play. Marfiat. And out come the Giants. Over the ball is Agizi at center. They've got a good size offensive line. Give off to Skelton, here he is at the 45, Skelton to the 48 yard line. Koskala again on the tackle, Erickson again in on the tackle, but you know what, he's making it into that second level. You know, Erickson plays back on the defensive side of the ball at a cornerback, and Koskala at a linebacker. Boy, the Giants out quick. First and 10. Now they'll give it off and they're keeping it all on the ground. Here's Seabird Olsen hanging on. He'll get down to the Golden Bear 46 yard line. Erickson again. We've been asked to tell you, but visit the website here at access12tv.com for all archive programs. Uh, this game will be on that site. So uh, check it out access12tv.com just another way you can view some of the programming here on public access channel 12 nice first down play give off to Skelton and he'll fall forward he's going to be just short of a first down I think but uh, try to get some of these players it looks like uh, Sterl the last player getting up Joey Marolton on the tackle for the Golden Bears so the Bears leading here seven to six. We're in the third quarter. Giants have it just inside the Golden Bear 45 yard line, third down. Oh, they got him. Koskala got in, made a hit. And then finishing him off was uh, Rosinka. Big loss, big loss for the Giants. And Luke kind of limps off. Here they come. Looks like he wanted to, uh, he fakes. Little play action. No, I don't know if there was a mix up. Because the back didn't go in front of him. Koskala made the first hit. Rosinka there to finish him off. So they're going to punt it out of there. So the Golden Bears have made the stop to start this uh, second uh, half. Bobby Thomas to punt. And he gets a good one off. Taking it to 20. 25-30. That's Olsen. 35-40. 40 44. And he's hit by Siebert over on that far side. So that's a nice return. See the replay on it. Now people got to start finding somebody to block. Puyan and, or was that Roberts? Tied up Giese. <laughs> And William made it out to the edge, and there Neil Siebert knocks him down. Evelyn Gilbert will have it now. Under under eight minutes to go, under seven minutes to go in our uh, third quarter here. Evelyn Gilbert seven, Masabi six. 
Here's a give off to Huyen and he gets out to about the 44 yard line. Michael Green in on the tackle. Also there for the Giants will be uh, Zach Skelton. 52 and 32. Into the huddle with the play, Sam Roberts. Bears with a 7-6 lead. Huyanen scored their touchdown. Skelton scored the Giants' touchdown back in the first half. Trips now. And now we got a whistle down. Boy, our cameraman, John Mariucci, said it's a little chilly on top. Penalty is going to be against Evleth Gilbert. John came down at, uh, well, no, he ran, uh, yeah, he did. He came down at halftime, and Hugo went up and ran the camera to warm him up. Ball's going to be inside the 40-yard line. Bears with the lead, coming off a stop of Masabi's first drive. Also want to remind you, there was a, there's going to be a social tonight at... Uh, Roosevelt downtown there, and if you're watching this on a delayed basis, well, you missed the social, but I'm sure you can always go to the Roosevelt. Okay, here comes Roberts. Green grabbed him as he got out to about the 41-yard line. Roberts will hand the ball off. Going to be a third down. 11 yards to go. You can hear Mr. Landboard talking about uh, the other events. There's still swimming going on. Cross country is going to take place a week and a day from the, tonight as we broadcast this game. Uh, we, uh, Wednesday, a week from tonight, will be, uh, be tennis. Caitlin Rice and Lexi Brasculi representing our section as a doubles team. Roberts looks left, tucks it, heads out. He's gonna, is he gonna make it out? Oh, not quite, but close to the first down marker. And on the tackle for Masabi East was uh, Bobby Thomas. And looks like the punt team's gonna come in. Luke Wazinka into the game. The Stephen Day will punt, punt it away. Fourth down, and you can see it. Fourth down and about three yards to go. Ooh, nice punt. Nice punt, gonna hit and take a Golden Bear roll down to about the 11 yard line and that's what the doctor ordered for the Bears. So Day got a nice punt off and uh, if the Bears can hold the Giants here on this possession, we're in the third quarter. Four minutes to go in the third quarter. Uh, in case you're just joining us, 427 remaining in the first quarter. Zach Skelton scored on a nine yard run. The Giants converted on a turnover, couldn't convert the point after. 3.04 to go in the first half. Austin Huyanen on a six yard run. Day's point after by kick. There the Bears, Thomas Koskala and others grabbed uh, Zach Skelton. We'll get that last player, look like Joey Marolt. Joe is a 5'11, uh, 235 pound senior. Ball on the 11 yard line. Second down and ten now. So out come the Giants. Again, they have three wins on the season. Offset eye now behind Luke. He's going to pitch it to Siebert. Is the ball on the ground? Oh, oh, oh there we are. It's uh, down near the five-yard line on the pitch back. And by the Bears' reaction, they just get better. The Giants just did get it back. Siebert will hand it off to the official, but the ball is now on the five-yard line. Third and 15 to go. So the Bears, if they could come up with uh, a stop on this third down, they'd come away with a pretty good... Uh, easy for me to say, boy, back in the first quarter, that Marfia got off a... They got off a punt that was just... Way down, pin the Bears inside the five, then the Bears turn it over and Giants scored. Third and 15, pitch back. They're gonna try to get to the edge. And oh, a nice defensive play. We got a flag on the play. 
Kubrick on the carry. I think that was, was that Luke Rizing? No, William Olsen. Will Olsen. In an attack up the Yeah, Olsen, Olsen with a nice hit. And we'll zoom in. There's Mr. Uh, Jim Johnson. I think they're going to take the play. The Bears are because that should set up a punt. And it's declined. You can see Mr. Johnson. So, Keith Gilbert should come out of this with a pretty good. Uh, we'll see. We got Olsen back deep with uh, Sam Roberts. 7 6, Ebleth Gilbert with the lead. Late stages of the third quarter. Thomas will punt. And boy, Bears should come better than good. Well, that was easy. Will, Will signaled a fair catch. So he can't run with it. So, boy, 35 yard line. We'll see how the Bears start off now. They lead 7 to 6. Nice to have you along on public access channel 12. Lots happening here. Now the school year is going. We had a lot of good feedback on the corn feed and the, the Lundgren's Fords of July, the Eveleth Fail Flower Show this summer. So we had the 4th of July parade. We had a lot of good feedback on public access channel 12. So keep, uh, we like the feedback, good or bad. My dad said in 50 years of radio, if people point out your mistakes, at least they're listening or viewing in this case. Roberts going to give it off to Olsen. Olsen down near the 30-yard line. Nice game. In on a tackle for Masabi East was Chase Schmidt. And was that Swanson or Thomas was? I'm getting 23 and 25 mixed up. That's a nice gain on first down. Will Olsen, the senior running back, uh, into the game. Sam Roberts with the play. Bears looking to add to this 7-6 lead. We're in the third quarter at Moore Stadium on this MEA Wednesday night, live from White Lakes to Chisholm. Ryan and Huyanen out to the right, Tickenen and Erickson out to the left. Olsen's the back with Roberts out of the shotgun and they've run out of this formation and they'll do it again. Roberts down to the 15 yard line and on the tackle for Masabi East, Bobby Thomas. They spread everybody out, and you know, uh, Sam Roberts is six foot, 175 pounder. Here he comes again. Off a block from Olsen. Olsen was tied up with that big Mike Green. Then Sam kicked it out, and a good tackle by Thomas. So the Bears are in business, trying to add to this 7-6 lead. Here we go, this is uh, Olsen down to the 10 yard line. Tanya Green in on the tackle, also in on the tackle for the Giants, Marfiat. Bears have it second down and six yards to go. They're on the 11 yard line of Masabi East, leading here seven to six. Out come the Bears. Yeah, the guy's bunched on their right side. Shotgun. Here's Roberts on the keeper down near the seven, eight yard line. Looks like uh, Cop on the tackle, Cole Cop. So they're sitting there looking at a third down. Ticking and tells Roberts to play. And into the huddle they go. Seven, six, Bears. Third quarter action, we've got under two minutes to go. And now we've got a timeout. They want to get it right. Timeout on the field. 7-6, Golden Bears will be back after this. Well, they've talked it over, now we're ready to go. 
Where we got the ball down on the, uh, what's, nine yard line. Fake to Olsen, Roberts under to Huyanen, Huyanen down. Oh, he's taken down at about the, we'll see on the mark. Siebert in on the tackle, two or three yard line. So the Bears looking to add to this 7-6 lead. They threw it a little bit out there to Austin Huyanen. That's a nice pass, safe pass. Quarterback rolls out. He's in front of him. Getting the play on this one. One last final word to Austin. I wonder if he's going to get it on this one. And they give it off to Huyanen. He's in for a touchdown. Three-yard touchdown for Austin Huyanen. That comes with 147 to go in the third quarter. Huyanen is going to be off the left side. There he comes. Nice hole. Nobody really touched him. Nobody touched him. Three-yard run. Huyanen has a couple touchdowns in tonight's game. Stephen Day will attempt the point after. Nice shot of the Bears. Day will attempt it. Clear night here in Eveleth. Well, this one won't hit the street. If it does, we got a scoop. He's going to have to hit it, kick it over to Franklin Elementary School, but he'll put it out in that football field. You see the fence, and just past the sidewalk, you see. So the Giants will get a penalty. 13-6, Eveleth Gilbert. And we'll reset. Everything looks okay. And that is more than good. Stephen Day's point after good. Eveleth Gilbert, 14. Masabi, 6. We'll come back with the Eveleth Gilbert kickoff after this. Well, had a couple of sips of coffee on this cold night. There is somebody sleeping in that van over there. I, one ton, channel 12. Got the coffee pot on, the dome light. See, it's over there, top right corner. One ton production. That thing is one nice van. Here comes Dave. Football continues. Third quarter winding down, taking it to 10, to the 20, to the 25, to the 30. Ho, oh, oh, ho, oh. ho! Boy, if he hadn't had to step over his own guy. Siebert, watch this on the replay. Takes it at the 10. And he goes right up the middle and finds a seam about right here. And now he's a hurdler. Boy, if he, he stepped over his own guy. Bears covered him at the 43-yard line, and that's where Masabi East will start. And here they come. 14 to 6, Eveleth Gilbert. Here's Skelton with about five guys on him. Only one guy, two guys in that whole picture didn't touch him. So there's 10 guys around him. And the last player getting up in on the tackle for Eveleth Gilbert, I got Adam Kugel. We called his name quite a few times tonight. They're the kind of familiar with Zach Skelton. Second down. And they'll give it off this time. Fake to Skelton. Here's Siebert. Siebert, they've got right at midfield, William Olson, also in on the tackle for the Bears, Luke Rosinka. Going to be a third down and two from midfield. Marfiot in with the play for Masabi East. Again, this is October 16th, 2013. They recognize the 1973 State Eveleth, the Eveleth State Champs, offset eye. Give off to Seabird. Oh, he's got a first down and more. Well, I can tell, I think by the tackle, yep, just the way the tackle was made, Will Olson. I tell you, William, they list him at what? 
Will is 5'9", 155 pounds, but he tackles the way you're told to tackle. He sticks his shoulder in, keeps his feet moving. Numerous times in that I wasn't quite sure, but by the tackling form, I figured that's got to be Will. But Siebert gets a first down. Ball on the third, uh, check that, 44-yard line of Eveleth Gilbert. Bears lead 14-6, Giants trying to answer that. Fourth, third quarter's winding down. Oh, there's a first skeleton inside the 35-yard line. Third quarter's history. End of the third quarter. Eveleth Gilbert, 14. Masabi, 6. We'll come back with fourth quarter action. They'll change ends, and we'll have high school football after this time off. Okay, we're good to go. Giants are on the Eveleth Gilbert 36 yard line looking to cut into this 14 to six Eveleth Gilbert lead. Here's Siebert. Siebert down inside the 30 yard line for his tackle by a host of Golden Bears. Will Olson in there, Thomas Koskala, Austin Erickson, but they'll move the chains. Giants are inside the 30. 14 to six. Nice dry night. Boy, those uniforms look as white as they did when the Giants took the field. Bears, same thing. Lighter colors. Offset eye now. Couple guys to the right. They're gonna give it off to Seabird. He powers inside the 25 yard line. Emilio Sturl there, Thomas Koskala there. And we'll get that last guy out of that Joe Marolt. Number 64, Joey Marolt in on the tackle, but Going to be a second down, and they'll call it five. Ball in just inside the 25-yard line of Eveleth Gilbert. Giants quickly up to the line of scrimmage. Well, either they're quickly or I'm getting older. They seem like they're moving out quick. Offset eye again. They come out of the wishbone. They'll give it off to well, the same thing. About four guys tackling Skelton. There's Cooper Dojan. Uh, Emilio Sterl, Kugel in on the tackle, but they're going to be down on the 23. Not much of a gain on that. Third down and four yards to go. They got to get down to about the 19 yard line for a first down. 14 6, Eveleth Gilbert here. Nice to have you along on Public Access Channel 12 on this Wednesday night. Now they're back to the full bone, wish bone. Maybe that's half a bone. I call it offset eye. The previous ones. There's Seabird fighting his way down. Yeah, Koskala in on the tackle, Olsen in on the tackle. Yeah, wait a minute, I think my offset eye was is actually the half a bone. So the wishbone is to get fullback with a couple halfbacks. And if I'm wrong, you can uh, email channel12 at isd2154.k12.mn.us. Fill me in on what I should be calling that formation. All I know is they're running out of it. Makes sense, half a bone. This is full, this is the wishbone now. Oklahoma made this good. There's a fake, no, yeah, a fake, no, a give to Skelton. This must be something to try to defense on the field, because I, I just have a tough time. Marolt in on the tackle. Uh, all I'm saying is you imagine what it looks like on the field for the guys. That quick fake. I mean, that fullback is right up on the quarterback. If you take a look here, 32 is just right up behind that quarterback. And everything starts. Look at how close he is. And now Luke fakes to him. Gives it off to Siebert. Siebert down to near the 11-yard line. Getting close. Siebert on the carrier for the Giants. You can see Dave Pike on the flag on the chain gang. Mitch, Rich Moore, nobody's safe when we got a camera. Mr. Biondich, there's Denny Sabart. We got nobody's safe when Channel 12 is around. Boy, the Bears need to stop here. They're leading 14 to 6. 
We're about halfway through the uh, fourth quarter now. Here's Skelton. No, Siebert, Siebert. I'm getting the... Yeah, try to see, check that last guy. Marolt again. Marolt number 64. And they're going to move the chains now. It's going to be, uh, what, first and goal. We have 8-10 to go in our... They'll be under 8 minutes to go on the next snap of the ball. They start up the clock. Ball on the 9-yard line. Fourteen six, Golden Bears trying to keep the Giants out of the end zone. Here's Neil Siebert down near the five. Down near the five. They've been getting positive yardage on just about every play. Marolt again in on the tackle, but that offensive line of Masabi East uh, getting enough for these guys. They're rutting them out of there. You got Green. You got Geezy. You got Peterson. You got some guys in that line. They're moving them out. And uh, they got some equipment they're going to check out. So. Here come the Giants. They'll start up the play clock. They got, got a good drive going here. Inside the five-yard line. Give off to Skelton. Skelton down there to goal line. And Skelton's in for a touchdown. Zach Skelton scores. Four yard run, watch it, just a quick give. I think it's over the left side, no, it's the right. He is, Bears make contact, but I tell you, he just did what he's been doing all night, just powering on in. So now it's 14 to 12. And uh, we'll see, 14, 12, they're gonna go for two. Out of the wishbone, they give it off to Seabird, and he's down to the goal line, in for the two. So the two-point conversion by run makes it 14-14, and we'll return with the Masabi East kickoff after this. Well, you got Skelton there, and then uh, now Siebert goes in behind Marfiat. So that's the other back leads him into the hole and in for a touchdown. What a game. So Hulianen has a couple touchdowns for Evelyn Gilbert and now Skelton has a couple, but you know what? There's other weapons on both of these teams, so. Zach Skelton will be doing the kickoff. Hulianen, or check that, Olsen and Roberts are deep. 14-14, we're in the fourth quarter. Glad you're sticking around. And he gets it down in there, taken at the 19, and out to the 29, Will Olson, down there on the coverage for the Giants, Nick Mackey. So, see what the Bears can do here now. That was a good drive, you don't want to give it right back. Giants took a... So this is uh, the Bears with it. They got Ryan out to the left. And a give off to Huyanen, but not much air for Austin. And on the tackle for Masabi East, uh, Neil Siebert. 
Yeah, Austin has had that first drive. He had some good yardage. He's been getting, he's got a couple touchdowns. Bears, what they want to do is keep, uh, let's pick up a couple first downs, and Giants have just tied this football game. Ryan out to the left. Wing back tick, or ticking in tight on this near side with Erickson, the wing back. They're going to give it off to Olsen. Well, Olson, Olson the goal, he gets it out to the 34 yard Peterson in on the tackle. I'm going to try to check it out for Masabi. Might have been uh, John Peterson. Roberts into the with the play. It'll be third down. See the Bears break huddle. Trips to the left. Was that Ryan over here to the right? Olsen, Bears, or uh, uh, Roberts trying to hit, uh, Robert, passes, passes incomplete in toward Austin Erickson. We had a couple five. guys covering him over here. You had uh, Bobby Thomas and Brandon Ivancevic. The incomplete pass will stop the clock. We have a 14-14 football game. Looks like the punt team is coming in. So the Bears are three and out. They're gonna end up giving it right back to the Giants. Giants scored with 8.05. We're over halfway through this uh, fourth quarter. Now we got whistles. And they'll step it off against Eveleth Gilbert. You know, I gotta say, old John Mariucci on the camera, he's taking some lessons from his dad. He may not want to admit it, but I've never seen a guy shoot a game with one camera like Hugo Mariucci, but John's kind of a, uh, John may not want to admit his dad showed him. Boy, that punt taken at the 38 yard line, and down there quickly for, for the Bears, Brian Sandstrom makes a tackle. Oh, Sands from the senior, number 53 there. Down quickly to cover Thomas. So we'll see if Evelyn Gilbert can get a stop here. We're tied at 14. Tied at 14. Halfway through this fourth quarter. First and 10. Pitch back, Siebert. Siebert tries to get, there's a nice block out there. He got to the corner. Somebody blocked uh, Austin Erickson on that. Tipped Austin over and that was the last block that got him out to the corner. And they're gonna move the chains. First and 10, nice pickup. Ball just inside Golden Bear territory. We have a 14-14 football game. The backs are uh, Skelton, Siebert, and uh, Thomas. And they'll give it off to Siebert. Nice defensive play that time. Is that Sam Roberts came up, number 10? No, 40, 40, sorry. Kugel, Adam Kugel. So, the Bears uh, hold them to negative yardage on that one. And out to come, they got a couple wideouts. So they're in the split bone. And is it Thomas that fights his way up to about the 46 yard line? Oh, check that. No, oh, that's Siebert. Siebert in on the carry. So Dustin Olson makes a tackle. Dustin is a uh, six foot, 230 pound senior. 14-14. Ball in Eveleth Gilbert territory. Luke, oh, Dojan puts a pressure on him. Cooper Dojan. From this near side, I don't know where Dojan lines up. He's number 14 on your screen.
Luke goes over to the sideline. They're going to punt it out of there. Those are nice play there. Back to punt will be Bobby Thomas. So the Bears have held. Now they get to see what they can do. Good snap. Good punt. And it's going to take an ever. Oh, they better get out of there. That's the one you see hit the back of the leg of a guy. And, and the other team gets it. First and 10. We'll see what the Bears can do. 14-14, we're in the fourth quarter. Under five minutes to go. They'll start up the play clock, first and 10. Sam Roberts into the game. Austin Erickson out to the left. They're gonna option here, pitch back. Oh, it's on the ground, picked up. Oh, heading the other way from Masabi East. Ah, into the end zone. Bobby Thomas. The Bears tried an option. They pitched it out, the thing, it's a scoop and score. Thomas down, what, 25 yards? Oh, not 25, even less than that. It was an option. And the Giants lead 20 to 14, here we go. Down the line we go. And it's on the ground. Oh yeah, I was right the first time. 25 yards, picks it up. Nobody's gonna catch him. Number 25 there, Bobby Thomas. 25 yard fumble recovery and return. They call it, I guess nowadays they call it a scoop, they call it a scoop and score. They got pick sixes and all that, but it bounced right up to them. They're going for two. 20 to 14. Sieber, I check that. Look back to pass, and it is good. To Skelton. Luke to Skelton for the two point conversion. It is now 22 to 14 Giants. You'll see Skelton, they fake to him. He's going to sneak out. How does a big guy sneak? But he gets out of the backfield and into the end zone for the two point conversion. 22 to 14 Giants. That comes with 452 to go in this game. Time's running out a little bit here. 22 14 Giants. Okay, we're back. Had time to sip a little coffee. Gotta say, whoever's putting the coffee on tonight, I'll sign their time card. Cause I'll be up all night. <laughs> this late night coffee. 22 to 14, I gotta regroup. We have just under five minutes to go. Okay, so Skelton's going to be kicking off. And he just dumps it over the first line. It's knocked around at the 25-yard line. Here's Roberts to the 30, to the 35, to the 39-yard line. He's tripped up. And... So we're going to be on the 40-yard line. Not quite. So the Bears looking to answer. To answer the Giants. 22 to 14. Out they come. Erickson wide to the left. Tickenen. Ryan. Huyanen over here to the near side. Olsen to the right of Roberts out of the shotgun. Roberts looks, 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 and it's incomplete. Intended for Tickenen out near midfield. On the coverage is Kopp and also uh, number 42. Defense! 
So. Robertson with the play. 22 to 14, Masabi East. Okay, we got two guys to the left. Split backs in behind Roberts under center. Here's Huyen and Huyen and fights his way to about the 46. Oh, we just uh, boy, it happens once in a while. The Bears have just hit a 54-yard pass from. Roberts to Austin Erickson. It's 22 to 20. Oh, what a what a play. They hit hit Erickson on a post. Roberts laid it out perfectly. Perfectly. Now we're going for two on the point after. 22 to 20. And let's see. Here's Roberts looking. Was looking for Erickson again. And in for two. So we got Austin on that one. Erickson scored on a 54-yard post and a two-point conversion coming up. We got a tie game. Here's Sam Roberts sprinting, looking. Everything's in front of him. And you can see, had somebody in the back of the end zone, but he hits Austin Erickson. We're tied at 22. What a game. Had a little glitch in our power, power pack. Anyway, Erickson got the two-point conversion and it was a post pattern that he got 54 yards. What a play. And we're tied at 22. So that one comes with 342 to go. So the Bears are gonna kick off. We're tied at 22. Well, I could use an overtime check tonight, but I think these guys, uh, we'll see, there's a lot of time. Boy, the crowd's getting into it now. You can really hear them yelling back there as the uh, Bears are gonna kick off. Tied at 22. Yeah, we got uh, Thomas Deep. Yeah, our producer, Hugo Mariucci, is mumbling words that uh, I don't know if they'd fly. They might fly on American TV because I don't know about the Italian viewers, but in Italy might get thrown off the air. But, well, they're a little more liberal over there in Europe, so maybe he wouldn't. Boy, he's mumbling about that last touchdown we didn't get. But we're tied at 22. Deep kick over everybody. Day sends it down into the end zone, so... The Giants are gonna start 80 yards away. What a game, 22 to 22. We have three minutes and 37 seconds to go. See if the Bears can stop them, get the ball back. Man, it's almost like sudden death right now because you feel like the next team that scores, we'll see what time. Well, the Bears just showed they got a quick strike offense, so. Uh, if they can get a stop here on the Giants. Here we go, wishbone as we've seen all night to give off to Skelton, the Bears gang tackle him, but if you're the Giants, you're keeping them honest. Short gain, gonna be second down and seven yards to go. Three minutes, 15 seconds, the clock running here. Out come the Giants, they got Skelton, they got uh, Siebert, they got Thomas in the backfield, Luke under center. He'll give it off to Siebert. There's Olsen again with a good stick. Will Olsen comes up, I think you'll see 22 getting off. And Marolt also. Clock running. Well, the Giants at minimum would like to run clock. They don't get points. They don't want the Bears to have time to get points. We're tied at 22. Within the last three minutes here of the fourth quarter. Colin Luke under center. Third down. And is he gonna get a first down? Boy, it's gonna be close. Siebert on the carry. 
Joey Marolt in on the tackle for Eveleth Gilbert. Was that Marolt or was that, uh, yeah, it was Marolt. Jim Johnson says, start the play, Clyde. Well, you don't wait long for these Giants. They just firing up to the line. First and 10, they got a first down. Fake to Skelton here, they'll try this left side and nothing doing. Luke Rizinka finishes off what Charlie Ryan started. Ryan got the first hit and Luke Rizinka number 32, ball on the 30 yard line. Second down. Second down and 11 to go. Time running out here, tied at 22. Wide to the right for the Giants will be Swanson. Well, as wide as, yep, he's out there. The pitch back, here's Siebert. Tries to get to the corner, and we got a flag on the play. He'll get out to the 32 yard line. Austin Erickson also in on the tackle, Luke Rosinka. They're gonna, and now you can see Sam Roberts saying, we're gonna decline this one. The Bears defense had a good stand on that play, so they're gonna decline it. You can see they're gonna set up a third down. So it's gonna be third down and eight. Bears wanna get the ball back. Beautiful night in Eveleth, high school football action. The regular season ender on this MEA Wednesday. We're tied at 22. Third down, Bears could get the ball back. He looks to pop it, pressure it. Oh, we got him! It's that Dojan again. Cooper Dojan, number 14. He's, that's his second or third one of those. Little fake, Luke comes to the left. And now a timeout Bears, they're gonna get this ball back. Here, let's watch it. Doja's number 14, he lines up at what? Defensive end, gets into the tackle on that side, plays off of him, and uh, finishes it off. A nice sack by the freshman. So the staffs are talking it over. You can hear the crowd cheering, getting into it. Coach Roberts telling the guys what he wants on this. Good shot of Wayne Roberts, longtime coach. Twenty-two to twenty-two. We're late in the fourth quarter. With those lights, nice and bright. So we're going to see the punt. See what the Bears should get. Pretty good field position. Oh yeah, the punt is going to be short. Wow, well, it's going to roll out of bounds at about the forty-eight yard line. Bears are gonna have it, first and 10 in Masabi East Territory. Nice to have you along on this MEA Wednesday. Coach Robert given, Roberts giving the play in to Sam Roberts. Into the huddle. First and 10 Bears. Bears scored quickly a while ago. Roberts to Erickson on the post. 54 yards. Trips, no not trips. Four people to the left, one to the right. Nobody in the backfield with Roberts. Roberts looks, lets her go. Long for Erickson again. Incomplete. You know, one on one coverage out there. One on one out there. They got everything to the left. Who was on that coverage? I'm trying to pick up the bench. But anyway, everybody left. Roberts, it's just a fly. It's just a goal pattern. And Austin Erickson ran right by him. Right by him and an incomplete pass stops the clock. We're tied at 22. Stops the clock with 101 to go. 
101 to go on this one. Now we got three to the left, two to the right. Roberts again, he's pressured, throws it underneath, incomplete. Tried to dump it to Will Olson on the coverage from Masabi East, uh, Marfiat. So the incomplete pass, we got 58 seconds to go. Second down, Roberts into the huddle. Ball on the 48 yard line of Masabi East. We got trips to the left. It looks like Ticken and Ryan and Huyanen. Erickson and, and Olsen to this side. Roberts looks, pressured, pressured, runs to his left. Roberts and he gets taken down hard at about the 48 yard line. Michael Green was able to chase him down. And we got a timeout here. Uh, uh, Sam Roberts getting up slow, but uh, he's gonna make his way. You'll see this one. He sprinted, I don't know if that was the plan. Green, or no, Mackey chased him out. Bobenz gets, oh, a big block there. Bobenz chased him and then Green catches up and drives him into the turf. So uh, also in on that tackle was uh, Neil Siebert. You can see assistant coach uh, Dan Dozian bringing uh, Roberts off. So Tickenen will go in at quarterback. You can hear him talking. Looks like checking in will be uh, Max Roberts, number 23. Okay, Tickenen in at quarterback. Max Roberts, and he's in the slot on the left. Olsen will drop back into the backfield. Shotgun formation, fourth down. Bears are gonna go for it. Fourth and nine, Tickenen looks. He lets it go long downfield and overshoots. The intended receiver, Erickson, it's incomplete. And the Giants are gonna get the ball with 23 seconds to go on this football game. And the excitement continues. We're tied at 22. You'll see uh, Mark Tickenen. Erickson's on this side. Mark straight drop back, protection pretty good. Mark just airs it out. Shows the strength of his arm, but it uh, lands about five yards too far. That'll stop the clock. On the fourth down, turned over now to the Bear, I mean to the Giants, and here we go. They're gonna come out. They got a couple guys in the slot. They got two backs kind of offset behind uh, Luke. He's gonna give it off to Siebert. Siebert's gonna be tackled inbounds. And now uh, timeout on the field. Charge to the Masabi East Giants. There you see it, we're tied at 22. They're gonna talk it over with their coaching staffs. You can see the Giants talking it over. Steve Grams has the people around him. What a game, what a game. Tied at 22. Tied at 22. About three and a half minutes ago, Sam Roberts hit Austin Erickson on a 54 yard touchdown pass. And the two point conversion tied it at 22. And then the, uh, they stopped the Giants. And now the Giants have stopped them on four downs. So you can really, it's getting hard to yell above the crowd. You can hear the kids really, uh, really screaming right now. Sounds like a little bit of a wind has picked up and our camera's up on top. You know, it's been really calm all night. Now there's a little bit of a wind. G Giants have been running it. It'd be ironic if they can, uh, they hit a pass. They got Bobence over here. To the left, he's number nine. And is it Swanson in the slot? They pop it over to Siebert. Siebert down to the 41 yard line. Now the Giants want to talk it over. To Bob, that pass was complete to Thomas. Check that, it was to Siebert. So they'll do it again. They're gonna get back together.
Ball in Eveleth Gilbert territory. Nice to have you along. It's fun, it's exciting tonight. Joe Radke wide to the right. Giants are showing some, uh, they got their half a bone. Straight drop for Luke. Now we got a flag on the play and it sails out of bounds. I don't know if he's going for Radke or the receiver that ran farther down the field. We got a penalty marker on the play. It looks like they're gonna talk, well, yeah, it's against the Giants. We'll see what they want, what the Bear, they're checking what the Bears wanna do on this one. Giants are going way back for their huddle. Radke out of the game. Looks like checking back in will be Marfiat. They've run the ball all night, but it'd be ironic if they get something by pass here. They're trying to get it in the end zone. Tied at 22. Under 30 seconds to go in this game. Luke's looking left, throws it up, long downfield, and oh, it's caught! Down to the 11 yard line. Threw it down to, uh, well, we'll check on it. Oh! He just let it go. They're gonna be sitting on the 11 yard line with two seconds to go. Luke throws it down here. And it is, is it, it is Siebert. Number 44 and he's gonna fall down at the 11 yard line. There we sit with two seconds to go in this football game. 22 to 22. So, I think the Giants are out of, well, there's only two seconds, time for one more play. It's either gonna put it into overtime or it's gonna put it in the win column for Masabi East. Here they come, Bears on defense, trying to hold the Giants out of the end zone. You can hear everybody's really yelling. Bears a broken huddle from their side. We'll see how they line up. Bobents to the left. Looks like Swanson is tight on the right. He's a tight end. He looks, here's Luke, looks, looks. Pressure by Rosinka. Oh, into the end zone, oh! It's a touchdown! Ronnie Swanson, he lined up at tight end on the right side. Just ran down near the goal post, and the Giants have won this game. Wasabi East, 28. Evelyn Gilbert, 22. Here it is again, Swanson's on the right. He gets a clean break from the line of scrimmage. Luke with Rosinka giving chase. Luke just lets her go to the back of the end zone, and there's Swanson for the Touchdown, Wasabi East 28, Ablett Gilbert 26. What a game, what a game. Teams are shaking hands. We'll recap the scoring quickly for you. 427 to go in the first quarter. Zach Skelton scores on a nine yard run. Point after by pass fail. 304 to go in the first half. Austin Hulianen on a six yard run. Uh, Stephen Day's point after 7-6. 147 to go in the third quarter. Hulianen on a three yard run. Day's kick made it 14 to six. Then it all happened in the fourth quarter. 8.05 to go in the fourth quarter. Skelton on a four yard run. Siebert's two point conversion made it 14-14. 4.52 to go. Thomas is a fumble recovery. 10 yard run. Luke to Skelton for the two point conversion. Put the Giants up 22 to 14. Roberts hits Austin Erickson on a 54 yard bomb. Roberts to Erickson for the two point. Tied it at 22. And as you just witnessed, no time left on the clock. An 11 yard touchdown pass, Colin Luke to Ron Swanson. That's it, the Giants and the Bears.